it was a it was a great senior weekend, great opportunity to send that group off. Like Steve said, they've been a big part of a lot of success here over the last few years. And so um, with the frustration that we've had this season of not getting some of the results that we felt like we could have and deserved in a lot of the cases, um, it was good to be able to get back on track and, and honor them as well as get some wins. So um, Friday night uh, with Houston Baptist was a game we felt like we uh, were the better team going into it and knew that we, uh, if we played out, put out a good effort, we'd have a good opportunity. And, and that's the way the game went. We were able to control most of the game, uh, scoring a couple goals. Uh, freshman uh, Emma Hawkins was able to score the first goal and then create the second goal in the second half. Um, so she had a goal and an assist in that game. Um, and then also our seniors, all of them contributed um, with Jordan. And um, well, I guess Connie didn't. She's still coming back from injury from that game. I'll get to her in a minute. Um, but Bridget and Jordan and Savannah all had uh, contributing moments in the game and, and were able to help lead us in that, uh, which got us back on track. We've been, um, we've been fighting and, and trying to get ourselves to where we know we can be this season. And uh, it's been difficult. Um, but we got the win Friday night, carried us into uh, Sunday's game, um, which was also against a, a conference opponent who's been doing well. They were sitting um, at the top or tied with the top of the conference coming in. And so we knew it was going to be a tough opponent for us. Um, but the girls came out with the same fight that they've had all season, and we were able to get things going in the right direction. Um, most of the game, we had the better of the play. Um, you have the better scoring opportunities, but still 0-0 until uh, I think four minutes to go in the game, and Emma uh, scored another goal assist from uh, Jordan on that one, one of our seniors. So um, also got to get Connie back again. She'd missed the last several games um, with injury. Um, so we got her going a little bit on Sunday, which was nice for our team to have her out there. Uh, and she was able to, to have an impact on the game as well. Um, so those two wins were huge for the standings, trying to get into a, the tournament. Uh, we've got three more to go. Um, and all three of them are on the road, um, but all against teams that are right around where we are in the standings right now. So hopefully we can uh, continue the streak, um, finish out strong through the season, uh, and then hopefully get ourselves in the tournament. So that's the plan. Um, got a, the one Friday night with South, South, Southeastern will be a big one to, to figure out what's going to happen next um, with the standings. So, um, but the girls, um, they've been continuing to fight and continue to persevere and believe that they can get it done. And um, it's been a real testament to them because, like I said, it's been a pretty frustrating season for them. Um, and they haven't, they haven't quit even for a second. And they can continue to fight. And that's what it's about. Um, sometimes things don't go your way. And, and that's all right as long as you react the right way, which is to continue to work and, and uh, put yourself in a position to have the to take the opportunity when it comes, and that's what they're doing. So, so we're proud of the group and looking forward to finishing strong. So uh, three, three to finish it out, and then hopefully back here for the tournament here in uh, about three weeks from tomorrow. So can I answer any questions for you? All right, go Bears.